Hi YouTube friends, I have a real quick um, Hobby Lobby clearance um, haul I want to show you guys and I've been to the couple of thrift stores today. Um, I know you guys probably all check Hobby Lobby clearance and some of this may not be new and some of the price isn't all that great but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with these. Um, they had the bracelets uh, back there and they're marked $2.99 regular price but they're clearance for $1.79 and Mainly, I bought this stuff. What I was looking for was uh, components for artichokes, and I thought these would be perfect because they come apart, and you can put, you know, little epoxies in, in these. You can make little epoxies, take them apart. Um, I got this heart one specifically for a project um, coming up, and um, I, what I did was at first, found this one and they had on the clearance section some little plastic like or excuse me the little um round rhinestones my husband's like the ones i picked up he's like those are ugly so we walked over and um looked at the uh the other ones which they didn't have any sale signs up so i thought oh i gotta buy this stuff they're not on sale and it turns out they were everything i bought was on sale they just they were in the process of changing the sale so the lady gave me both sales she gave me last week's sale and she gave me the items that were on the coming sale. So I really made out like a bandit. Um, I found these little in bloom uh, rhinestone hearts. And I just have to show you that they fit, the heart fits really, really well in the heart one. So I'm gonna use those for some artichokes. Um, let's see if I can show that. That I'm getting ready to make as a dangle charm. And you can take, you know, you can take these apart. They have a little, loops and use just the top and dangle it or you can use which in this case I'm using both um, because I'm well, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm using them for but this is more like a charm bracelet but um, what you could do with this one is glue let's see if I can get the little you can glue the little stone you can glue the little stone on top of that and still take them apart. So I thought for the price for a buck seventy nine, I mean, look how many of these little charms you get. And you know, these are recessed. You know, these are all recessed. So I bought I bought quite a few of these because I figured those are really great. And then they had a bunch of this kind of stuff. Eighty eight cents for these little um, like swivel lobster clasps, and I thought totally great for Artemakes. And then of course they have these. Um, I don't even know what these are called, but they have them, you know, they're a swivel class too. Those were $1.19, so I bought a few of those. And then this stuff I don't think is really all that great as far as price, because usually they have them 50% off of $2.99 is $1.50, and these were $1.80. Um, but here I thought this stuff wasn't on sale and I wanted to get these, so I went ahead and bought them. Um, Turns out the metal stuff was on sale. But anyway, they have the little spacers. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm on the yucky camera. And then they had these pretty um, big metal beads for $1.79. So they had all kinds of that, that type of stuff. And I want to show you, these were on the regular aisle. And they're called extra large filigree um, bead caps and teeth brass. So $1.47. Turns out they were 50% off. So I got them for 75 cents. There's, I think, six in a pack. But the reason I wanted to get these, and let me see, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. <laughs> let me show you guys. Hold on one second. Let me just set the camera down. Is I put these together. Let's see if I can do this really quick. And check this out. It makes like a big um like a big ball charm <laughs> isn't that cool and then you can just slide your wire or whatever you know all the way through so i just thought that was really really cool looking so for art to make I'll show you what they look like and there's those so i got those and then i want to show you i was walking through the um the floral or excuse me the floral in the wedding department and I know everybody buys these little, um, these little like rhinestone um, pick things. And you gotta really watch because this kind of makes me mad. But some of these are tagged um, his and hers, and so these were actually 
50% off, but a lot of them, like this one, same price and everything, but they don't have the his and hers on. The lady was going to argue with me, but the sign that they had hanging up did not specify. It just said wedding, 50% off, and then it listed a whole bunch of stuff, but it didn't anywhere on that sign say his and hers. So she went ahead and gave me all the ones that I bought, whether they had the his and hers tag on them. Um, she gave those to me for 50% off. So anyway, you got to kind of watch that kind of junk. Um, I got these right here in the floral apartments, this whole... They have one end cap that's all like acrylic, all different kinds of acrylic flowers and whatnot, and they're kind of expensive. Um, I've looked at them before and just never wanted to buy any of them. And so I started pulling this one out because I needed red because I thought I was going to be needing it for this particular project. I'm probably not going to use them now, but um, they were on, they had a clearance tag for $3.40. So there's 11 of these acrylic flowers that are wired like the beads they're wired together and they're really pretty i wish you guys could see these but they're wired let me flip them in the back they're wired together and then of course they have the stem so totally art i make um i think i think they'd be really cool for something because you can attach a dangle or something to the you know directly to the wire on the back or you can obviously glue them, you know, glue them down to something. But I just thought those were really pretty. And um, so we also had gone to a bunch of different, um, like, thrift stores. And one's an antique mall, which, wow, their prices have gone up since the last time I was in there. But I got these metal zippers for a quarter each. And I just, they're really pretty colors, like turquoise and white. But I want you to check out the price, 50, <laughs> 50 cents and 55 cents. Um, used to be. It doesn't have a date on them, but these, um, they're pretty old. <laughs> so I was kind of happy about getting that. And then, um, we went to another rescue mission and they had this bag of rub and buff. So there's two rub and buffs and a treasure gold and then this heavenly fuse, which I haven't seen, but it's a brush on wipe off gold, um, for $4 and they're like, the, the rub and buffs are, I open them, make sure they're okay, but they're like brand new so i was kind of happy about that and then we went to this place here um not in our town not, we don't have anything here but it's called the land of cotton antique mall and it's huge i don't know how many thousands of square feet but they have everything i mean everything you could possibly imagine and um i used to have these old flash cards in there that i wanted so bad um but I never bought them. Anyways, they have all these postcards. And they're all different prices. I just went through and started finding the cheap ones. But I went through and I looked for the ones that had the postage and the postmark. And these are written, some of them in pencil, but some of them are um, like quill pen. But anyway, this one's dated September 16th of 1910. I don't know if you guys can see that, but for a dollar... The stamp is one cent. So I was really excited to get these. And they're in really, really, really good shape. They're so pretty. Um, if I ever get back down there, this one's written in a quill pen. And it's funny, they don't even have an address. It just has a name and a city and a state. 1910 again. Um, I don't know. I was just excited to get these. I mean, talk about true vintage. Um, cards. One of them was from 1909, but they're so pretty. And this one's embossed. Some of them are embossed. The colors are just, just, they're just beautiful. I mean, this is like original graphic 45 stuff here, guys. Really, really pretty. Um, they have nice little sayings on them. Just, um, I don't know. Just I just love them because they're they're the real thing. That's a Christmas one. This one's the 1909. Right up here, she wrote the date and it's postmarked 1909. Very very cool. So I was pretty I was pretty happy to get that. And um, so anyway, um, if anybody has any questions or anything, um, please feel free to ask. But anyway, y'all get if you get to your Hobby Lobby. Go over to, like, by the floral and the floral stems. They have these in a whole bunch of different colors and styles. Um, I just happen to like these flowers. And I don't really have access to any of these acrylic 
um, flowers. I could I could order them online, but um, I just thought that was kind of a neat find. And then these bracelets, y'all, um, they have the lobster clasp and everything on them, but for, you know, you can put probably, this looks like it would probably fit a smaller Scrabble tile, um, but they had a whole bunch of those. So anyway, I just figured people that are wanting are to make um, components for a fairly reasonable price other than you know like junk jewels um they had a really good selection they had beads and they had all kinds of stuff my hub my husband and my family was with me so we were we weren't really in a hurry but we were so i had to kind of make quick selections um anyway y'all have a good night i'll talk to you soon.